did you first find out about highball, Jay? Well, we have a racket club we built in Provo. Mm -hmm. And um, the, uh, Don Gordon set this up for a demonstration, just like we're doing here. Mm -hmm. And I, I got into uh, uh, this racket club, and I said, boy, that's a quite a unit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. And I, these people movie. would come out of the unit just sweating and, like, and, yeah. just, uh, and laughing, you know? And I go, you know, that looks like a lot of fun, because I don't particularly like to jog, or I, I just I don't like the exercise, uh -huh. the exercise. I thought, man, that might be kind of fun to, you know, have fun with and to get my, and get in shape. And then when I finally got uh, into the game and saw how much fun it was, I mm -hmm. just thought, man, I'm just really going to go out and promote this game because it's a great idea. And, uh, now, the game's actually like volleyball and basketball combined into one, and there's yeah. there's rules that you, Wayne, has been Yeah, there's, you definite, there's a definite new yeah. sport, and uh -huh. uh, it's catching on uh, fast in the West Coast, and it's overseas now, and yeah. we have high hopes for it. Oh, that's excellent. Michael, you're being kind of quiet over there. What do you think about all this? How about your experience with the highball game? Jay's the one that actually put me on the highball, and immediately it got to be contagious to the point where we were playing from... 7 o'clock at night till 2 o'clock in the morning yeah. all the time when it's yeah, high right. we had local. We would have tournaments and set up. It was just uh, it's uh -huh. catching on. It's really fairly, fairly, fairly new. Uh -huh. And so, uh, but it's catching on and taking off like wildfire. 